fancy some of this later. Oh, I'd love to, mate. But I've got none of that, so uh, it's a no. I can lend you a couple of quid if you like. What? A landlord taking a tenant's charity? Whatever would the peasants think? <laughs> no, you're OK, mate. Anyway, there's a great documentary on about basket weaving, so <laughs> can't be missing it. Oh, no. Yeah. What's this? Family photos of my uncle Charlie Darwin. What do you think? Have a drink. I'm not a flippin' charity case. Well, I am. But I'll uh, I'll catch a five. You're all right. Keep your brass in your pocket. Hey, um, are you Gavin? Yeah. And you? No. I'm I'm Sam. Alice's fiance. <laughs> That's what you get for not going private. Oh. All right, Connie, thanks again. Hi, Jackie Altvest. Oh. Right, let's get you off. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Can't wait to get off. <laughs> Thought I'd come in for a quick natter break. Bit of light relief. Poor Jasmine's been given the right run around. Don't mind me. I'm away. Just forgot my mobile phone. You know what that's like when you're as popular as I am. <laughs> oh, and Nicola, I probably won't be back tonight. What am I, your mother? Going anywhere nice. I'm only down the road. Oh, we'll have fun. <laughs> and if you do come back, try to be quiet, please. You're not the only one who lives here. <laughs> so, you are my mother. <laughs> Ta-ra. Can't sleep for squeaking bed springs, eh? Hey, hey! <laughs> Must be a bit weird, you know, that he's now a pole. Are you homophobic or something? No, I am not. Well, shut up about it then. Thought you wanted to waffle on about your poor little niece, Jasmine. I'd rather find out what's rattled your cage. My cage is always rattled. It's common knowledge. Nothing specific then? No. Nope. Nothing at all? No. And you're okay with Paul and Ivan then? You're definitely all right with that? No. Ah! So you're still grounded then? I presume so. I left in a bit of a rush this morning, so I didn't ask. They have to be seen to be punishing me when Mum and Dad get home. Do you think they will? Come home? Yeah. Of course. Debbie, I've been expelled. What do you think? Well, I've never actually been booted out of boarding school while Mummy and Daddy are digging holes in Timbuktu. Uh, Mozambique. Yeah, right continent. But in my experience, I expect to be disappointed. They might just send you to another posh school. Buffy chose a creamily blended Stilton and celery soup topped with olive croutons and served with a piece of a, a hunk of fresh warm bread. You're taking this seriously? Is anyone? I am. It doesn't sit easy with me, love, I must admit. I mean, even setting aside my impending visual impairment, we're lying. But a magical rabbit. Clever. Not magical. And only nine little bit. And anyway, the money is going towards my wonderful wedding to my amazing, fantastic, sensational tiger of a man. <laughs> How close am I to yakking up? Well, if you put it that way. <laughs> Please, me cheeks are filling. For you, my love, the world and more. <laughs> We're just uh, organising Terence's effects. Uh, I thought that perhaps it was time he stopped living out of the bag. I can see that. Terence, all right? Hello, yes, thanks. You? Yeah, fabulous. Um, what it is, is I wondered if you'd both like to come round for supper later. What? Well, we, we don't want to put you out. Well, I wouldn't ask, would I? Well, if you're sure. Yeah, of course. You'd be doing me a favour, actually. Well, Adam isn't expected home till late, and I'd only be on me Todd otherwise. So, is it on, then? Nice family meal. Terence? Yeah, OK. I'm easy. Good. If it's no trouble. Uh, oh, sorry. No, no. No trouble. Not even a smidgen. Uh, I'll see you later. So, how are we going to do this? Are we going to go all the way around the houses, or am I just going to say, um, you fancy either? See what happens. Are you off your rocker? I think I'm supposed to be saying that. Oh, Nicola. First a fisherman, 
And a gay bin man, what the next? A cross-dressing chimney sweep. I'm sorry, but I'm right. I can't help it. How come you know? Do you think Simon's noticed? No, I doubt it. But the sideway glances and being awkward in his presence, I mean, it's hardly rocket science. I mean, you still do love Simon, don't you? Yeah. But I sit here and watch Ivan and Paul the way they are. And I look at me and Simon and how we are. And it drives me mad. Well, because you're not all loved up like them. I mean, it's normal, for goodness sake. I just think that should be me. I know it's stupid. No, it's not. Well, yes, it is. But it's understandable. I mean, you're looking at a couple in the first flushes of love. It's natural to compare yourself. Is it? Yeah, of course it is. Rekindle the romance, Nicola. Do what we do. Candlelit bubble bath. Soft music. Wine. Strawberries. Soapy glass. Oh, please stop. And then... You're right, though. I'll try. Soapy glove. <laughs> ah, look who I bumped into, immersing yourself in cafe culture. Shall I go straight to my room, or do you want to tell me off first? That won't be necessary. Have you eaten today? Yes, at the cafe. Well, there's plenty more inside if you wanted. Is there a reason why you're suddenly being nice? And is there a reason why Grandpa won't tell me what you guys were talking about last night? Uh, why don't we go inside a bit warmer, eh? Have they been in touch? Come on in. I'm absolutely fine where I am, thank you. So, they've been in touch and... And they're not coming home because something really important came up. And they just can't drag themselves away to deal with their annoying daughter. That pretty much it. No, Jasmine. What, Grandpa? Are you going to defend them? No, I certainly am not. <sighs> Shall I tell you a secret? Didn't start that fire in school. Didn't even take the blame to win friends. Sadly, it is because I am sick and tired of feeling alone. Being here with you, even with you being angry at me, is better than feeling like I don't exist. I appreciate it. <laughs> That'll all grow back, love, don't you, Shrek? Oh, I couldn't care less. <laughs> we just want an healthy hair or not. <laughs> ah, of course. <laughs> Sit down, love, come on. Hey, we'll have this place like a little palace when Samson comes home. We'll all have to shuffle round a bit, but we'll we'll make do. <laughs> hey, I've been thinking about that money raising. How about this, Sam? Sponsored pub crawl. We get them to stump up for every pint we neck, and we get sozzle fun out and make them inch at the same time, eh? <laughs> Magic. <laughs> Anything you want, Alice, love. Ah. We'll do our best. Both of you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you brought enough film. She's been preening herself since sunrise. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Here's the starter, main course and dessert. She's done us proud. Mmm. <laughs> Indeed she has. Sounds delicious. Well, I think I'm going to have to witness this excellent taste for myself. For fun, you mean? Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, for real, I'm afraid. Editor's an old Fleet Street hack, and all the public opinion in the world doesn't make him like stories about the dubious skills of a domestic pet. Mm. Now, shall we begin? Ooh, let's. <laughs> Pretty pathetic, eh? Yes. Not the act, but the fact that you should be driven to it. You mustn't think that you're alone, though, because you aren't. <sighs> Sorry. I can't help it sometimes. I understand. But you can talk to me, tell me things. The vicars have to be good listeners, it's one of the rules. And there's Laurel, if you want to talk to someone... Younger? <laughs> I was going to say for your own gender, but yes, yes. <laughs> Laurel and I and Gabby, and your grandfather, of course. We all love and care about you very much. 
So why don't my parents? What's wrong with me? Your mother and father are very lucky to have you. And the fact that they need reminding of this reflects on them, not you. Thank you. I do like it here. We'd like having you. So why don't I stay? For good. I mean, it makes sense, doesn't it? Your parents have asked that we find you another boarding school, but given the fact that you didn't start that fire... I could go locally. Um, hot and comp or whatever it's called. I mean, it must be good if they've got dads walking and talking like a semi-normal human. Don't I deserve some say? You said yourself you like having me here. Jasmine, I'm afraid my hands are rather tied. Just the same as them. You don't want me clutter in your life. Well, I am so sorry to be such a burden on you all. Nice speech about loving me and wanting me. Are you sincere? Jasmine! This way. Over that way. Lobster. Come on, Come on. Come on. Yeah, this way. Like this lobster. way. Lobster's nice. That's it. Yes. Go on. This way. Oh, no. Yes. No. Oh, no. Oh, yum. <laughs> Sandwiches. <laughs> How society. Can we have real butter on the bread like in fairy tales? Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> Best of three. Oh. Look, you don't have to go into too great a detail, do you? You could just say that, uh, that Buffy made a surprising choice. Yeah. Mm. I'll tell you what, I won't reveal the full details. How's that? You're a gent. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just say she chose the sandwiches and I'll leave the filling up to you. <laughs> Sandy told me what happened. Where is she? I don't know. I may have been clumsy, but Jasmine had to find out sometime. Much as a lover, we're not her parents. Well, too right we're not. A couple of washouts they are. And when you married me, you didn't marry into the guardianship of an adolescent girl. I'm married into the idea of taking what comes and dealing with it together. I mean, I knew it was never going to be you, me and Gabby forever. And as far as I'm concerned, Jasmine's welcome as long as she likes. Right. There you are. Oh, very nice. You're your favourite, if I'm not wrong. Is it? Oh, I thought it was chicken and spinach. Yes, I know you did, Dad. No, Daddy, always ate chicken and spinach. When we were kids... When we were kids, he used to mush up his spinach. Shove it up my sleeve. Then he'd sneak off and toss it over next door's fence. <laughs> Andy, that compost heap. Well, I must warn Bessie. We don't want green missiles raining down on the village. <laughs> Hello, darling. Uh, take a seat. Have you eaten? Do you want to join us? Uh, no, thank you. I'm fine. Well, what about a drink? But no, I've... Uh, I've got some paperwork to do. All right. Well, I'll, I'll catch up with you later, then. Well, bon appétit. No! It's true! <laughs> <laughs> Mother! <laughs> oh, mother's work friend type people. Come and join us for banter and merrymaking. I'll join my shoe to his head in a minute. Oh, no. He's just upset oh. because your wedding feast has gone down the swanee. Yeah, well, no thanks to you and that idiot reporter. Get me another drink. No, get me two. Now I'm going home. Ladies? Someone's had a few. Oh, you noticed then. And that same someone is far from finished. Well, madams, what would you like? I am in the chair. Nicola was wondering where you'd got to. Apparently you weren't coming in here because you're hard up. I changed my mind. <laughs> I got a loan from the Bank of Ivan. And you know what? Not one penny of tomorrow's hangover will be paid by my darling little icicle. <laughs> and that feels great. So, who wants another one? Eh? <laughs> <sighs> Sp 
park out in there as your last. I bet you feel like you could sleep for a month of Sundays and all, eh? I'm all right. I've not had a baby and I've not got cancer. You're walking tall these days, Sammy. And I'm proud to be your dad. I'm proud to be yours. <laughs> not your dad. I mean, you, you know, son. Yeah. Do you want to go and see him? Now, like? But Lace has fixed the van and, and, and he'll be all on his own. Ah, oh, of course you do. Come on. How's Samson, Sam? Oh, good, thanks. Oh, not good, but, you know. Right, just off to the hospital, though. Oh, right, oh. Oh, say hello to him from me, bless him. Nah, see you later, Ashley. Hi, Ashley. Have you come to walk Jasmine home? She is here. Oh, thick as thieves are deadly as usual. <laughs> I've had to fetch her. No, thanks. Unless it's a problem with her being here. Oh, not at all. I swapped Shad right for her. <laughs> you all right? Well, oh, you need to know where she is, to be honest. I've been fighting my instincts for hours against coming to look for her. You do right. You're welcome to have a word, but she's probably best left if you've had a set too. They usually come home if they're hungry or bored or skint. Thanks, Lisa. I'll leave her be. Give my best to Alice. I will, love. What was that about? Couldn't hear. It's probably leaving me the fair to Timbuktu. Not Mozambique, then? <laughs> oh, no. Never dream of troubling my parents. You know, just when I think something good is going to happen, something rubbish does instead. Hmm. Been there, done that. Pardon me. I was forgetting you have the monopoly on teen angst. <sighs> We'd be better off on our own. Agreed. I mean it, Jazz. What's to stop us going somewhere? You and me, you mean? Yeah, why not? I could get a job. I don't care what it is as long as it pays all right, and you could find a school, you swat. Why don't you do that for me? Of course, you're a mate. We could get a flat. <sighs> Oh, that sounds perfect. You know, nobody's shouting to, to turn the music down. We could play what we want as loud as we want. The Crits. Kanye. Gwen Stefani! <laughs> I'll give you a knock in the morning. Oh, I'll try I'm... and be awake. I will. And coherent. <laughs> hey, we don't want you sewing your fingers together. <laughs> no, my granddad. He used to swear by raw eggs and salty ham. Oh, your granddad was a very sick man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you I'd see you ladies now, but I can't focus. Aww. Right, well, I better be off and off. Right, oh. mate, so you couldn't give us a hand with these two lumps here. You're going to fall into a ditch otherwise. Oh, no. All right, then, hey, you take the big one. You're younger. Ooh, Ooh mind what you're doing. I'm engaged, you know. Oh, I do like a man with big, strong arms. <laughs> yeah, and I do like a woman with big, strong legs. Save me carrying her home. Come on. <laughs> Oh, Mum! Mum! I feel a bit poorly. Oh. <laughs> Come on, we're playing for England! England! Arriba de Chiefs one on! With Debbie? I hardly think the Dingles can accommodate you. They won't have to. That's not what I meant. Debbie and I are going to get our own place. Hang on a minute, darling. No! I'm sorry, Grandpa, but it's obvious I'm just a nuisance to everyone. Debbie feels the same at her house, so that's what we're going to do. Jasmine, sit down and let's talk. About what? Jasmine, please. Come on. I'd rather you didn't go to live with Debbie. I'd rather... We'd all rather... You stayed here with us. Until you find a new boarding school for me. I don't think the Tate boarders are hot and comp. Although, it must be pretty good if they've got Daz walking and talking like a semi-normal human. Ashley! Oh, Timmy's a bit sorry. Yeah, one day somebody sort of was going to say that to me. Oh. Oh. Looks like the shopping monsters will turn to its lair. Ah, no, 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 no. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, sunshine. No, oh, I'm grand here, man. Uh, now it may be, but you'll be crippled tomorrow. I'm not moving. Oh. Don't make us. She'll be waiting upstairs. Oh. Claws and fangs, stuffing bags with labels on. Oh, come on, oh. what places to be? Huh? This time, 
<laughs> You're purely rock and roll, you. <laughs> You're like the Northumberland Mick Jagger. <laughs> Fine. I feel like uh, I'll see you in the morning, hunchback. <laughs> Please tell me I've not misunderstood. No, you haven't. You're staying here. And if your father wants to argue about it, he can argue with me. With all of us. <laughs> become quite a fixture in our lives yeah. and we'd hate to see you leave. Thank you, Ashley. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you've just made someone very happy. It was the right decision. Thank you for helping me realise it. Luke might not agree, but that's a problem for another day. Quite the extended family, aren't we? Well, a toddler, a teenager, a wayward pensioner and, uh, oh, <laughs> a batty wife. You do realise that peace and quiet have gotten the bus and they've gone forever, don't you? Yes, I do. And good riddance. <laughs>